Boxing with Fighters, Letter 4. How to Avoid Punch. So, last lecture, we know center gravity determines what punch comes in. Within this principle, we can know what kind of punch comes in. If the center of gravity is in chest, it must be trapped. If the center of gravity is in belly, it must be uppercut. If the center of gravity is in butt, it must be straight. If the center of gravity is in brain, it must be hook. So we know what kind of punch comes in. Next, we should know when the punch would come in. To do that, we must see Shirley. Center of gravity is like an engine of a punch. To transfer the power punch, Shirley must be activated. Though we move straight, all movements of joint in body are rotational. So to transfer rotational movement of core muscles to straight movement, shoulder muscles should be activated. In this way, to make a good punch, shoulder muscle should be strong. Finally, we must avoid combination. Combination consists of punches more than three. And to have a combination, all boxers should have moved their center of gravity. And to move center of gravity, a lot of power is needed. In this way, steam is needed to do that. And with improper steps, your combination gets much faster. So to avoid combination, you should detect certain steps. So, if you see a change of steps, you should prepare the combination. As a conclusion, if core muscle gets activated, punch will come in of 0.5 seconds. A kind of core muscle will determine kind of punches. A shoulder muscle amount punch will come in 0.1 second. If step changes, very back punch or combination will come in. So just back step and kick him in the face. This is the perfect way to avoid punch.